Okay, so we've had a few wild theories over the course of Piggy's development. We thought TSP was the super potato or something back in the day, but this theory is gonna shock you. You see, something's telling me Mini Toon ain't exactly human, and I'm worried, and of course you should be too, because if Mini Toon isn't human, what does that mean for the rest of us? I don't think even little Timmy Jones would be able to defeat Mini Toon. So what do we do about this? Well, the first step is to actually figure out if he isn't human. And I've got just the way to do that. Today, everybody, we are going to be comparing all of Mini Toon's maps to their real life equivalent. And we'll see just how realistic his maps are. Are they an exact replica? Or are they so bad that a trash can looks more realistic? We're going to be going from house to station, gallery, forest, school, hospital, metro, carnival, city, mall, outpost, and plant. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so starting with chapter one, house here, we've already run into a massive issue. The front door leads into a space that's entirely blank. What sort of house do you just walk into the front door and it's like a freaking warehouse? There's like space everywhere and then there's pictures of like kids with a giant X covered in blood on their face or something. You know, to be honest, I'd probably call the police on this place immediately. At least they got the dining room here. You know, this actually doesn't look too bad. This is generally what they look like. They've got a tea kettle, a nice little pie there. Not too shabby, to be honest. The backyard generally is pretty realistic. They got the little shed here. That looks totally fine. But the general, like, outdoor of the house, just like looking at the structure, that doesn't really seem like a normal house, right? It looks more like a cake with layers or like an <laughs> But you know, the house chapter one, all in all, is pretty realistic. It doesn't really have like a main bedroom for mommy and daddy pick. Like, I don't know where they sleep. Do they just sleep in the middle of the room on the floor? I don't know what's going on there. But you know what? I think that's a perfect place to put us right here in the middle. It ain't an exact replica, but it ain't as bad as a trash can. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep it right there. Station chapter two, based on a police station. And you know, this is actually pretty good. I I'm quite surprised at how good this is. Like you walk in, you got the front office there. There's no doors here, which is quite concerning between the offices. But then we get to the main part, the prison cells. And you know, these are actually pretty good. Minitoon got the inside of the prisons pretty well done. Like, look at that. Although there is one massive issue where there's like nothing inside there. What are they gonna do to the poor prisoners they keep inside there? See, these ones have beds. These are like the VIP prisoners. But then you get rid the really poor people here who don't have a bed. They don't have toilets or anything. Uh, they're, they're just gonna have to go in their pants or something. I don't know. This is a pretty cruel place for a police station. And most disturbingly, of all is a giant pit of acid that's right below the station. Excuse me for questioning the system, but I don't really think this is what police stations normally have. However, I do think the police station was actually quite a bit more realistic than the house. So you know what? I'm gonna put it right here. It is actually quite realistic, the station there. So good job on Minitoon for that one. He's looking a bit more human. Gallery chapter three. Let's have a look at what an art museum actually looks like. And here we go. We got plenty of images here of an art museum and of an art gallery. And you know, I think they're actually pretty close. Unlike other things, galleries generally promote a lot of space to walk around in, lots of people, and uh, this is the exact same thing as what happens here. The stairs are definitely a big safety hazard. They don't exactly have railings, and same with a random plank there. Tell me, how would a normal person without a freaking wooden plank get into this area here? And this is the only fire escape. Oh, I, I, what just happened there? But once again, pretty close to the real thing, so props there, Mini Toon. That was actually a pretty good one. I'll put that a bit above station. It's not too bad. Chapter 4, Forest. So for this one, I looked up forest and forest cabins. Like these are the forest cabins here. And then we got the massive trees and the shrubbery and all that. Now this is quite concerning. If we head to the forest map here, as you can see, there's not actually that many trees. The cabins are probably the most unrealistic part of the forest here. Where are the beds? Where are the kitchens in the cabins? Where are the toiletries? And also what the heck are cars doing in the forest here? We have little kids like running around. They're playing tag and all that in the forest. And then bam, these cars just start plowing through. In fact, how do the cars even get in here? The gate out of the forest is freaking barred. Did they power drop cars on top of the kids in here or something? So yeah, sorry buddy, but you know, just cause it's got trees doesn't mean it's a forest. I'm gonna have to chuck that in the unrealistic section. I'll put it about there since yeah, it is kind of close to a campsite. School chapter five. I doubt I need to say much about this one. This one doesn't exactly look like a general typical school there. I wouldn't call this 
this map school. I'd call this map corridors. Let's see how many classrooms there are. There's one classroom. There's a giant cafeteria, two classrooms. So far I've only counted two classrooms and I swear I've been through like half the bottom floor of the map. Three classrooms. Wait, no, this isn't even a classroom. This is just a teacher staff area. For some reason, a weird IT office, not a classroom. Again, random office. This is more of an office building than an actual school. I counted two, maybe three classrooms in this entire school and just lockers everywhere. You know, I, I think this is a ruse for like a drug facility or something. There, there's something sketchy going on here. If we look at a proper school corridor, this is what it looks like. The lockers are neatly placed around. Their classrooms are plentiful. It's all ordered everywhere. I just can't see school being that realistic. You know, I, I'm gonna put that on the same level as Forrest. That, that, that's quite concerning to me. Moving on to chapter six, hospital. So already this does not look very sanitary. Like why is there carpet there? Why are they treating people on top of a carpet? There's the general waiting area, but there are no doors to get in here. Like you have to walk through all the hospital past the sick beds just to get in here. And speaking of which, I don't remember seeing any entrance. The only way we can escape is like through the roof. In fact, I don't think this has any doors. This actually makes sense too. This is probably where Minitoon woke up in a scientific lab. He didn't enter through any front doors. He was captured by the government and woke up here. And that's why there's no way to enter. That's why he can't perceive any way. Cause the only way he got out was through the roof. The government lifted him off the roof. And he thinks that the only way we get to hospitals is through a helicopter. And as you can tell, like, what is this area? Like, what, what is the point of this? Let's look up a real hospital. A proper hospital is properly equipped. You don't see carpet on the floor everywhere. Uh, the hallways are nice and ordered. There aren't giant pillars looking like a Macca's underground car park. This is very concerning. You know, I do have to say this is going way worse in school since there is no way you can get into the hospital. The only way you can get up there is through the helicopter pad. Very concerning, Mini Toon. But maybe chapter seven will be a bit better. I'll be honest here. I personally don't have much experience with metros, mainly because Australia doesn't really have any. But if we look at an underground metro, you know, it's not too bad. Here we have the metro tunnel with a train right there. And then there they've got the metro tunnel with the train right there. One thing I think they'd be missing is the signs at the top that tell you where you're going. And also once again, there's not exactly a way for the public to get into the metro. So yeah, that is quite concerning, but you know, there's no problems. That's pretty much what I'd expect from a metro. So we'll put it generally about a bit better than house. Mr. P's happy carnival of joy and fun. Chapter eight. Have you ever wanted to go to the circus? Well, that's where we're at right now. Let's have a look at how close it is to the real deal. So besides your brethren coming up here, we get a pretty good indication of what's going on here. There's lots of rides, lots of people, lots of stalls and everything. There's the big circus tent over there. Now, when we head to a carnival like that, you can see there's a big circus tent. However, inside, there's not really any seats for people to sit on. Or do the kids just like jump on top of the balls and start running around screaming or something? They got the cages where the animals go. That pretty much looks like an old fashioned circus. But what is with these wheels? I just noticed these wheels. What they look like cheese twisties. Mr. P really cheaped out with his expenses here. In fact, I'd say he spent more money on these like giant walls here with his face on it. And no one Mr. P, that's exactly what he did. But you know, nonetheless, I do have to kind of give it to Minitoon. I, I would say he's been to a carnival before. He kind of knows what's going on. I'd say that's a pretty good representation. Better than Metro, not as good as Station. City chapter nine. So my major concern here is firstly, number one, the uh. horrific driving of the people here. Do they not teach them how to actually drive? You know, you got to stick to the lines here, buddy. You can't just be cutting corners in the middle of traffic. But running into the apartment rooms, this does look like a pretty typical office building. There is no kitchen though, which is slightly concerning. I I'd be a bit worried for poor Ellie Enterprises uh, employees. I don't think Ellie gives them any breaks. Ellie is a cruel mistress. But the apartments are pretty good. They are, they are pretty realistic and having the buildings around here. What is in the sky? Oh my God. I think there's UFOs or something. So I'm gonna have to deduct a few marks for that. However, I do have to say that is still quite realistic. You know, I'm, I'm gonna put that with the station. I think that deserves to go on a station level. Minitoon's not doing too bad a job so far. Chapter 10, the mall. You know, this map was probably like, like one of the most exciting maps upon release. Like people were so excited when Minitoon was giving teaser images of it. There was such a big hype for it. And even now noobs are still playing it. So if we go to mall here for once, we've actually got an entrance. So, ah! The II Arcade, more like the pathetic arcade. Like seriously, what, you got like a couple of arcade machines, a little like gumball ball machine and then air hockey. And you're like, wow, what a great arcade. This will be teeming with players. 
And then you've also got random food left out. Now, I don't know if this is like a feed the homeless initiative, which would be really nice. Hey, is that a cucumber? I got a pickle rick award. But then if we look at a mall in real life, that is actually really realistic. You got the double escalators leading up to railed edges so people can't fall off. That's a bit concerning though. So you know what? I'm putting that up here. I think mall is definitely almost an exact replica. Minitoon loves his malls. He goes there every day, spending his hard earned piggy money. Very good stuff. Outpost, chapter 11. Now, I, I, I'm not a soldier, okay? You, you can't be expecting me to know what a military base is, but I can certainly try my best. If we search up a military base here, this is kind of what we come up with. Uh, I think this, is this made in Minecraft or something? Okay, I don't know about you, Minitoon, but judging from the images here I'm seeing of military bases, I'd say this one looks a bit too nice to be a military base. Like where do the soldiers go to do their training activities? You've even got the plans to deal with the upsurge, the upsurge of noobs in Roblox. I guess you could do your training military exercises here, but there's also a tank here for no reason, which actually, how do they even get a tank in here? I don't think the tank's fitting in between there. Was it another? famous Mr. P airdrop or something. Hey, I can see the carnival from here. Dude, the military's keeping an eye on Mr. P. But you know, it's not too bad. It does look kind of modern, pretty high tech. I'll put this a bit lower than the house because it generally has the same sort of features that you'd expect in a military base, but it's just too compact. And finally, plan chapter 12, based off a power plant? Hmm, that's a pretty interesting plant. I don't think these exactly look like Minitoon's power plant here. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of cabling. I don't think that exactly looks like this, to be honest. I'm not too sure what sort of scientific stuff Mr. P was getting up to. I don't think a sort of nuclear power plant would have a little hidey hole for you to shove little Timmy through. Is this like the daycare center or something? There's no railings here. Like, if a scientist trips, they're going for a tumble down into the black depths below. I don't think that's really gonna pass the safety regulations here. And another massive thing, you have to walk like a thousand meters just to get to where like whatever the machine this is, the mixy sucky machine, which for some reason spits out random TNT. I don't know how. But color blue at least means electricity. Yep, yeah, yeah Minitoon. But to be fair, I'd be worried if Minitoon had been to a nuclear power plant before. I'd be worried if any of you have been to a nuclear power plant before. But you know what they say, a trash can looks more realistic than this. Get down there, plant chapter 12. And and there we have it. What do you think about this? From my angle, it appears to me that Minitoon, he likes malls, he goes to the city, the police station, gallery, a lot of the more urban stuff, places where rich people sort of go. And then as we progress further towards a non-realistic sort of setting, these are places where the poor people are, where like the lame public students go to school, the people who can't afford private health care have to go to the hospital. How pathetic. So Minitoon doesn't really know much about hospitals there. So, you know, in the end, I'd say Minitoon's persona is more of the crazy rich, rich king. He's never known poverty, he's never been poor, and he absolutely loves spending his money in the mall. But what do you think about this, everybody? What do you think this says about Minitoon's upbringing? Do you still think he could be an alien? I'm not too sure. And let me know if you think any of these are more or less realistic than what I put him. But until next video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!